Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about the background properties in CSS. So the CSS background properties are used to add background effects for elements. So whatever elements you have in your HTML documents, you can provide the background properties with the help of CSS background. So the first one we are going to learn is CSS background color. So the background color properties specifies the background color of an element. So when you specify background color to a particular element, that element will get that particular background color. Another one is CSS background image. So the background image property specifies an image to use as the background of an element. So that particular image will be provided as a background to your element. By default, the image is repeated. So it's covers the entire element so we will see how the background image gets repeated when you add it in your html document so let's see in our code how we can make use of these two properties css background color and css background image so this is my background.html file so in this code i have written one heading which says code crush, code crush background tutorial another heading h2 which says welcome to Goa. So this is particular web page where you will get the information about Goa. So here I have provided one paragraph which provides information about Goa. And there is also another paragraph. So basically there are two paragraphs in this particular HTML document. So when I try to run this code. So this is how my uh, HTML page is looking currently now background.html let me increase the font let's move it to next page and this is my background.css file so currently i haven't provided anything in my css file so let's say we want to add some background color to this web page so currently this web page is having the white background color so how i can add the background color to this web page so what i will do in css now i want the background color to be added to the entire page so to have it into the entire page i need to apply it to the element body because everything in this document is inside this body tag so body tag is starting here and it's getting end at here so entire thing is in the body tag so I need to provide background color to body tag. So I will provide the name of element which will be body. And then I can say background color. So here background color and name of color that you want to provide. You can also use the color code. You can search on Google the color code for a particular color. I will directly provide the name of color here. Let's say I want to have the orange color. So I will provide here orange. Now save this. So if I refresh the page, there will be no effect because currently we haven't linked this CSS file to our HTML file. So to link this file, you need to provide your link tag link. So once I click on link, I need to provide the reference link. So both these files are located in the same location. So that's why I need to provide only the name of file, which will be background.css. So background dot css now save this save both the files and refresh the web page so see we are getting background color to the entire page now you can see here so background color is orange applied so what i also can perform here I, if i say i want to have different color for this heading so how i can do this so in similar ways you need to provide the name of element so it is the h1 tag so h1 tag is having this heading code card code crush background tutorial so i can provide here h1 and then i can say background color background color let's say we want blue color here so let's say light blue now refresh the web page so see we are getting here light blue color if i try to change the color here to let's say pink save this so see pink color is applied to this particular element so what you can do with background color you can add it to the entire web page 
as well as you can add it to the particular element now let's see background image so let me remove the background color part in this CSS file now what we want to do we want to add some background image to our web page let me refresh this so currently I had removed the background color part so our web page is having now the white color now what we want to do we want to add the background image to our web page so let me show you one image that I have in my system now so you can have any image you can download from the net so see currently I have this image here so this particular image I want to add as a background image so name of this file is profile.webp so what I can do I can have this file so I want to add this image so what I can do inside the body tag body now we are using the background color property we will now use the background image property so background image you need to say URL and inside this URL you need to pass the name of image that you want to have as the background so the name of file was profile.webp if your file is located in different location other than the code you what you can do you can provide the entire path here so let me save this now if I try to refresh the page so see you will be able to see a background image is added to our web page now so this is the background image let me increase here so here you can see the image is getting repeated if you see here this was the original image after that to adjust it on the web page it is getting repeated so if I increase some text here you can see more clear let me increase the paragraph tags here let's say we increase the paragraph here so we had repeated this paragraph three times and if we try to check now let me save this file so see our image is getting repeated so you can see here is also the image here on the right hand side another image so same image is getting repeated so let's see the property for background repeat how we can avoid the repetition of the image so what you can do here you can say background repeat if you say here no repeat so the image will not be repeated let me show you if I refresh the web page now so see our image is getting displayed only one time so that is the original image here so other part of the page is not getting that image so if you want to repeat the image only in the horizontal direction so you can provide here property value as repeat x so if you refresh the page so see the image is getting re repeated only to the x axis so this is x axis and we have y axis from top to below and x axis from left to right so image is getting repeated from left to right so below the web page there is no image so if I change the value here to repeat y repeat y so what will it do it will now repeat the image from top to bottom not from left to right so let me refresh the page so see the image is getting repeated here from top to bottom so another value you can provide here if you say here space then the image will get repeated and there will be space between the images if I refresh the page now I'll just add here so currently the web page is not showing us the image because uh, the image size will be greater so it will be not displayed on this web page so what you can do when you have this image background repeat so you can say here no repeat and for background size you can say background size so 
and you want to cover the image on the entire web page so in that case you can use the property value as cover so let me show you how the image will look now so see this is the perfect scenario where the image is getting displayed on the entire web page and the image is also not getting repeated here so another thing you can do here is so let me remove this part background size now I, if I show you the web page so our image is displayed here with no repeat and here you can also provide the position let's say I want to provide position background position let's say I want to say, save the image on the right side right and towards the top if I refresh the web page so see image is shifted towards the right and top if I say here right and to the bottom So image will be on the right side and it will be at the bottom side let me refresh the page see the image is getting appended at the bottom in similar ways you can provide your left and it will be at the left side and bottom so you can play with this property where you want to adjust your image also you can make it to the center so here you need to say center if i refresh the page so it's getting at the center not uh, the image is not at the top position not as well as the bottom position it is displayed at the center so you can also say here both center so it will be exactly at the center of web page if i refresh the page so see it's being appended to the center so what else we can do here now let me add this background position to the top and right let me remove this top right so if you look at this page so it has at the top right so what i want to do when i scroll this web page you can see the image is also getting scrolled like at the bottom we can't see the image so what you can have another property here the property name is background attachment so in background attachment you can say fixed so what this property will do when you try to scroll this page this image will not get scrolled let me refresh the page so currently how it was behaving this is the behavior after applying the property background attachment fixed what difference you can see see when you try to scroll the text is getting scrolled the image is not getting scrolled the image is fixed now you can scroll the web page but the image is not getting scrolled so if you want to make the image scrollable by default it is scrollable but if you want to have here the property so you can say here scroll and if you try to refresh the page so you will see the image will be getting scrolled now so that is the use of background attachment property so what else we can do here also you can have the particular image attached to a element like now we have inside the body let's say I want to have this image appended to this welcome to Goa tag h2 tag so here you can also say h2 and here you can copy paste the image so I want to add your background image to this h2 tag so let's see how it looks so h2 tag was this one welcome to Goa so if I refresh the page so see the image is getting fixed to that particular tag so you can also apply the image to a particular tag as per your requirement so that was all about the backgrounds that we have seen so for next video we will see another topics thank you for watching